an austerity measure, this address costing the taxpayer a million rand less. Premier Zamani So is gearing up his province for the fourth industrial revolution. He wants to modernize how government addresses challenges and provides services. In dealing with his ailing health sector, Seoul believes in digitizing public health. And his answer to dealing with unemployment is education and skills development. This is a digital age. And as the province, we can't lag behind. If we lag behind, we are running a risk of producing another generation of the unemployed another generation of the poor and another generation characterized by inequality. Seoul wants to bridge the gap between the haves and the have-nots, providing no VIP treatment for anyone. In his five years, he has plans to use government land in urban areas to integrate the poor into areas of economic activities. Each and every cent that is meant to improve the quality of lives of our people should go to where it's directed to. It should not land in the pockets of Zamani. It should not land in the pockets of MECs. Neither should it land in the pockets of the HODs or managers in departments. Money meant for development should be directed to developmental programs. The opposition has wished the Premier well on his bold plans. Because I think it's something in the right direction. I think it's about time that we need to look beyond political party lines because it's about time that we need to deliver for the people of this province. We are happy generally with the statement, with the state of the province address. We are going to support the men, but if he fumbles, we are attending to him immediately. Seoul says there won't be 100-day reports, but reports on a daily basis. Neria Shakuza, SABC News, Kimberley.